Yes, we're back. We're back again in American Truck Sim. We're back again for American Trucker number two. And this time we're moving on from Colville, where we got to last time. And we're going on to Wenatchee, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, with a lot of grain in a double trailer. What can possibly go wrong with that? And it's 181 miles as well. This could be an interesting one. Grab that guidebook to All Things American. And let's go. So yes, hi there, Steve here, and welcome back to American Truck Sim. Yes, uh, second video in the new American Trucking uh, series where I've started again in the USA. So let's jump inside, uh, make myself a little bit more comfortable than I actually am. Uh, reset track IR again. There we go. Uh, Pile this thing up. You've got the contract. Now go. Okay. Get rid of that map. Pop it into gear. I am in lazy auto for this. So yeah, if you're new to my videos, uh, then welcome. Uh, this is going out on a Saturday on the channel. Um, there's something from OMSI, the bus simulator, on a Monday. Something from Taurus Bus on a... Blah! On a Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> something from Firm Bus uh, on a Friday. Um, the occasional random Sunday video as well and uh, every other Tuesday is something from train sim every other Thursday is something from flight that schedule will be changing in the new year uh, I won't be able to keep up this schedule uh, going forward uh, get ready to turn left so some things will change some things will stay but uh, we'll worry about that in the new year turn left So yeah, it's going to make this a shorter series than uh, the one we did in uh, ETS2. So as soon as we uh, get offered a loan from the bank, uh, maybe after another one or two jobs, see if we can drive a Peterbilt next. Um, so we can drive a couple of different trucks and then decide. I have added in a mod already, which is uh, real gas station names. But uh, I'm going to add some more mods as we go. Okay, rear trailer slightly up on the curb back there. This thing doing 2.5 miles per gallon. Lime, or 2.4 miles per gallon. Yeah, I said this in the first video. I do really like the way that American Truck Sim looks. It's a shame that it just isn't as popular as uh, ETS 2. And I don't think it uh, it will be. It's just going to take a long time. I think when people realised that to get all the states, it's going to take years and years and years to get this thing. Um, you know, even by doing a couple of states a year. We'll be waiting a long time for uh, the Get opportunity. To turn left. Uh, the opportunity to drive completely across the U.S., which I know is a big task for um, SCS to do because they're working turn on left. this uh, and they're working on uh, ETS2 as well. But uh, you know, gamers, we're impatient. We don't want to wait five years to be able to drive across the US. Who knows what we'll be doing by then. It's a shame because the states they've done uh, look really nice. So we'll do the same as this uh, in this as we did with uh, ETS2. We'll get to a point where we can buy our own truck, which I've already got in mind. And then we'll do a few jobs in that and then uh, get ourselves um, another truck, another driver and uh, finish it as we did with uh, ETS2 where we've got uh, a couple of trucks, a couple of drivers and we're on our way to making money. Wow, 
benchmark doing a whopping three miles to the gallon or 2.9 miles to the gallon So yes, wow that looks nice out there. Yeah I am in lazy uh, auto mode for this, I should really go manual. But just so I'd stick it in there. Uh, actually is, is this thing actually, I don't think there is a gear stick in here so I think this thing could actually be an auto. we get our own truck I will go manual because that's going to be awesome right 45 mile an hour maximum around this corner that's handy because that's what I'm doing Thirty-five run this one. Yeah, it's Washington DLC. Does look really nice. So hopefully we don't get done for speeding along the way. Being the US, we'll probably have some of those uh, Weybridge things to go in at some point. We've got mail. That's probably the bank already offering me money. But you don't want to take just yet. I think I'll do... You know, we've done Ken, we've done the W900, we've done this. Uh, I think I really need to drive Peterbilt, maybe the Volvo, just for comparison, so that if you've not played American Truck Sim, you can see the difference in the trucks. Tell me to slow down in a minute. Wow, that view, view looks nice. There are a lot of trucks on the road, I like that. Sort of logging country up here. Oh, fuel consumption, 4.1 miles per gallon. Oh, this thing's virtually a uh, hybrid. Yeah, nice twisty road through here, I like this. I could have taken a job going back down through where we started, but I couldn't see the point of that. Try not to backtrack too much. So we haven't got to fill this thing up with fuel because it's a rental. Oh, 35. Get ready to turn left. Don't want to get done for speeding. So Irving, is that an actual gas station brand? Stop signs a long way back. Oh, he's got done. He's definitely struggling with his weight. I don't know what engine is in this thing. It's putting a double that's quite heavy.
but it is pulling it so that's good 85 miles to go yeah the one thing when we've done um, uh, twitch streams uh, doing multiplayer in ATS the one thing we found is we've all agreed that yeah the trucks are great I mean, different cargoes is fantastic the scenery and the way the game looks and feels is brilliant but there's too many just long straight roads which is it is what it's like in the US but it's not what you want when you're uh, driving and uh, enjoying the aspect of driving. You want twisties, you want lots of junctions and roundabouts and stopping and starting. That's what it's all about. Go straight. OMAC. I must admit, this truck doesn't sound too bad. It's not as nice as a W900, obviously. That does sound pretty epic. And I think the truck we're going to end up buying, uh, it's going to be a mod, um, is, uh, is going to sound really nice as well. See, so yeah, if there's any uh, add-ons that you think are worth getting for this, if there's things that are going to make it look better, I've seen some for physics. I couldn't find anything, though, in the Steam Workshop anyway, um, for real company names and, like, um, real trucks and stuff like that. So I've added in real gas station names and uh, I've added in the mod for the truck I'm going to be buying. But if there's anything else you can suggest um, to make it uh, look and feel better, then uh, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, it's the one thing in it. These, these roads. Oh, plane. Plane or the train. Where's the automobile? These roads are a bit sort of flat and nondescript. Because I'm guessing up here where we are in Washington, um, that's what they'd be. We're catching up with the train. A lot of police cars. T River. So the one thing compared to um, ETS2 though, we covered a lot of ground very quickly because of these roads. A 180 mile job in uh, ETS2 would have taken a while because of all the uh, stop starting at traffic lights and roundabouts and slow roads. And So I can in the next few jobs then cover a bit more distance. We can go for a couple of hundred miles at a time and uh, try and build our money up and we'll try and head south from here we've only got 26 miles to go and I'm just getting into the journey the Columbia River that's very rivery Yeah, enjoying this truck and certainly enjoying the scenery and uh, to come back to ATS for a short period of time is great uh, I do want to mention the discord server as I do in every single video of mine um, if you're into uh, trucking or any sort of sim gaming uh, then check out the discord server uh, link will be in the description below it's an awesome community we've got over there on discord um, with sections in there for trucks for buses and coaches for planes for trains uh, for racing, um, for general gaming, 
Uh, we've got one for entertainment, for food and drink. Uh, we've got a random room. Um, we've got, uh, uh, what else is there in there? Uh, a tech room. So set up in tech. People buy new bits of tech, they show it off or ask for tech advice. You know, what graphics card should I get? get what steering wheel should right. I get? Um, there's a section that for that. So if you're looking for a community to uh, get involved with, uh, then do please uh, check it out. Turn the link, right. as I said, is uh, below. He got a very short trader. Now he turned right on red. I'm not going to risk that. But yeah, it's definitely long. Yeah, it's a normal long, okay, 50 foots in the States, isn't it? And we've got another trailer behind it. And I made it round, I think the trailer went off-road a little tiny bit. definitely struggling with his weight get back over here if it says we've got to be in this lane go straight Go straight, we will. Keep left. Last thing I want now is to fall over this close to the end. Well, I quite like the noise it's making when it's changing down. That is quite cool. Right, we've got a turn left up here. Keep left, and then turn left. Turn left. The timing for the lights. But it just takes ages for this thing to get going. Ready to turn right. Okay. Turn right. Turn left. We're here. Right on time. He sounds so cheerful, didn't he? I just blocked the road. Um, yeah, I'm not going to park a double. Yay, level one. So we'll do as we did before. We'll start at the top. Or should we go high value? Let's go high value. Did I actually do anything? I don't think it did. Skills. 
Oh, I did. I did it at the top one. Okay. Email. Need money? We can help. Well, there we go then. We've made it uh, down to uh, Wenatchee. Yeah. So we started in Spokane. We've gone up through Colville, down through Wenatchee. Um, we'll see if we can head south from here in the future jobs. We've got all this map to explore. So it's going to take a while. Don't forget to check out um, the Discord server. Hit subscribe if you want to see more of my other content. And uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more of the series. I will leave that there then. Until the next time, if you have been. Thanks very, very much for watching.